I, 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 what are you for real right now? Is this real? Are you kidding me? So guys, as you know, I have covered Astelia Online in the past. When the game was in beta testing, when the game initially launched, I even went ahead and did a video on it like last week or the week before. But this right here, this is something that I never saw coming. I thought that Astelia might end up going free to play or something like that. But this, this right here is a catastrophe. This is Bless Online all over again. After Astelia Online was shut down in South Korea, the North American version of the game, which continued to run as a buy-to-play MMO, was more than happy taking on the refugees from its predecessor. However, even the North American version of Astelia has an uncertain future after hearing the latest news concerning the brand new upcoming Astelia Royal MMORPG. Yeah, Astelia Royal. Now, let's go ahead here and take a minute to read through exactly what was revealed. First, a blog post directly from the team behind Astelia. Hello community, this is Bora Team. We are excited to announce that we have signed a collaboration on global game service contract with Studio 8, a game development company affiliated with Baruns and ENA. With this agreement, Astelia Royal, an expansion version of Astelia, will be provided globally, including Korea, through the Bora platform, starting with collaboration on global marketing of online MMORPG Astelia, which is currently in service. And yeah, they actually went ahead here and they stated global. This Astelia Royal is actually coming out globally, just like Astelia Online is currently. Astelia Royal with Bora, the channeling service of Bora Platform, aims to provide official domestic services in the summer of 2020, plans to gradually expand its service area to the global market, and it also plans to develop and service Astelia Royal for Bora, the game service that integrates blockchain technology through the development collaboration. Astelia and Astelia Royal are online MMORPG genre genre PC games developed by Studio A to subsidiary of Baruns and ENA. Currently, they are in service with various regions such as North America, Europe, and Russia. Astelia and Astelia Royal, and I just want you guys to note here that they are differentiating the two games here, are being served in the favor of game users around the world because these are focusing on strategic battles and action that trendy TCG, which refers to trading card game factors, are added to the colorful visuals, latest graphics, and growth play of authentic MMORPGs. We, the Bora team, are delighted to serve the Astelia series a global popular game through the Bora platform. We'll continue to expand our channeling service with Bora in cooperation with game companies having innovative contents including Studio 8 along with four Bora services. Thank you, the Bora team. Then they went on to just earlier last month make a blog post stating that the pre-registration for the brand new Astelia game Astelia Royal is currently underway. Hi community, online MMORPG Astelia Royal which way too 2-Bit is servicing and Studio 8 is developing, holding a pre-registration event. Astelia Royal is an online MMORPG genre PC game set in a medieval fantasy created by Studio 8, a game development company affiliated with Baruns and ENA. Astel, the core of the game, is a summoned creature that symbolizes the constellation and has over 30 different concepts and personalities. Each of the Astels use their own abilities to help gamers and fight together. You can enjoy failed PvP, job change, system-based character development, party play, and unique dungeons. Anyone can participate in the Astelia Royal pre-registration event. All participants will be received three-star Astel, a legendary jewelry item, star gem boxes, and closed beta test participation qualifications as a reward. The latest laptops and mouse pads can also be awarded as event prizes through a lottery. In addition, the Astelia Royal SNS event is also being held. Only Korean users can participate in this pre-registration event, and a global pre-registration event will be held at a later date. So once again, this is worth noting that they are planning to not only release within South Korea itself, but also globally. Not just that though, they are also planning a global pre-registration event as well. Finally, it's worth noting that they went ahead and they released information pertaining to what Astelia Royal is even going to be. So currently, Astelia exists as its own unique game. Astelia Royal is going to be Astelia with a few very minor updates. As an example, the update contents are 1. A new land, Thule, the city of forgotten time. Tier 2 equipment and enhanced cars of treasure can be acquired. 2. A brand new dungeon, the throne of ascendance. 3. New summons, Virgo, the successor of stars and Corvus of purity. And 4. In-game stats are being changed, along with an event. And that is it. That is all the differences between Astelia and Astelia Royal. There isn't a mass graphical overhaul. They aren't optimizing the game. They aren't adding in a ton of new content. They aren't 
revamping or editing really anything that already exists. Not only will Astelia Online, or rather Astelia Royal, be the very same pre-existing MMO, but the only difference to set itself apart is the fact that, like I said, it'll have like a very minor amount of new content. That's like barely enough to even be called an update. I've seen Blade and Soul push out larger updates during their quarterly update cycles. Astelia Royal does not have a guaranteed business model at present, but this, this right here, is how to lose the faith and support of the remainder of the players that you have left. Take a free MMO from South Korea, go ahead and publish it in the West and make players pay for it, then go ahead and relaunch it, and then provide a very minor overhaul or, I don't know, rebrand it or revamp it, and then use the money that you obtained from those gullible players to go ahead and fund your next endeavor. That's pretty much every South Korean MMO in a nutshell these days, and we are still continuing to fall for this crap. My god, this is just dumb. Like, I'm sorry. I know I might get some hate for saying this, but this is just stupid. This is asinine. This is inane. We do not need an Astelia Royal. The game is already dead. Stop trying to milk the market and all of the players within it for the every last cent that we have. How about just go ahead and take Astelia and improve it? Make it better. Make it actually worth playing. Uh, but I, I don't know. That Guys, this is my opinion my impressions of the upcoming Astelia Royal MMORPG. What do you guys think? Are you excited? I can't even say that with a straight face. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and let's talk about it. Anyway guys, that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.